when we were in the pandemic mode, there was only one thing that was moving. That was inflation was high and the policy rate was low. Now we have two moving parts. One is the policy rate is rising and inflation is likely to fall. So anything can happen. Now there are two moving parts. It might be sooner or it might be later. Thank you, sirs. I'll move on to Mr. Anup Roy from Bloomberg. Thank you, sir. Uh, sir, uh, sir, I'm. Uh, I'll, I'll take uh, uh, Lata Ma'am's question a little bit more. Sir, uh, CAD, you are saying it will be it will be sustainable. And earlier, you have said the CAD is modest. Uh, after the trade data, uh, recent trade data, some analysts are saying CAD can be four percent of GDP. So, what gives you confidence that CAD will be sustainable and modest? And what is I mean, uh, in your previous study also, sustainable uh, CAD was around 2.5% or something like that. I thought I answered that question, but I think uh, let uh, Deputy Governor uh, say if he wishes to add anything. Uh, the, the CAD for the year as a whole cannot be assessed on the basis of one month's trade deficit. I, no, you've just got May and June, which were high. Okay, now let me tell you some facts about the trade deficit. First of all, the small uh, decline in exports is because petroleum product exports have slowed down. Now, the government has immediately responded by reducing the export tax and also the windfall tax. And we expect that it will be back on stream in a month's time because this reduction of duty has been sizable, number one. Number two is in the imports. The average price of oil, which we announced in the MPC, was 105 per barrel, which is in governor's footnote. But today it's trading at 94. All commodity prices are easing. So we expect a lot of relief on the import front. Now, what is the thing about the current account deficit? It's not the size that matters. Is it financiable or is it not? Now, FDI is higher than last year. Portfolio flows have started coming back in a big way. On August 1st, we got portfolio inflows of the amount equal to whole of July. Trade credits are strong. ECB, we have enhanced the opportunities for accessing it. And NIRA deposits are also being liberalized. So uh, I think it's eminently financial. 